Hi everybody. Now today there's an important thing. Firstly in the in the video for DBDO installation is how to install DBDO. We created an instance which was the world for instance. But now in order to set up this video, we're gonna just take a snapshot for this step while we're creating a DBDO instance. Now in this part of the video I haven't created a DBDO instance because I want to create it manually. So I, I click on the second option and follow with the db to entire db setup and, and it completed. Now there's no instance right now on the system for db2. I'm gonna go to home directory that is only one user which will be created using db2 setup which is the DAS user, db2 administrator, administration server user. So in order to have an instance firstly we gotta create one user which will be the instance user. Right. And there's a small trick in there, just make sure that the, the instance name and the instance user will be the same. So I gotta create a new instance called CTG NST1. So in order to do that, I'm gonna use user add command to add the user called CTG NST1. And this is all done by root user. So also as we talk about in other videos of mine of db2 there is a, a group called db2 iadm1 which is an admin group for accessing db2 so I'm gonna be adding this group as well using group add command sorry for the first mistake group add command for adding group and then we're gonna we're going to add this user which we only created ctg inst1 to the group db2 iadm1 So now it's successful here in order to just cross check here. I'm going to use groups command followed by the username. It gives us uh, the, the groups to which they use this user is added. And now I'm gonna go to the, the home directory to see the directory form for this new user, CDG NST1. I'm just gonna let this CDG NST1 user own this whole directory, which will be presently be owned by the root user. So using CH own command. Also, I'm gonna get read write access executable access to the whole directory. This will be needed later. So using C777 for read write access executable access. Now, I'm going to create an instance using db2icrt command, but this will give us an error for no such file directory. This is because this command is located at a particular location, which is under the install directory. So we got to go to opd ibm, this install directory, and the instance directory under this install location. So here we will find a command called db2icrt. Now the syntax will be command followed by hyphen s the name of the server edition which we set up here it is enterprise server edition so esc hyphen u the name of the instance user that is cdg nst1 hyphen p the name of the port that you want to give it to here i'm using 50005 make sure that it's not accessible from any other service on the system followed by the user so it will, it will take some time to, to create the new instance so as always, I'm just gonna try and skip that step to what time we stage if again. So here it is. DB2 ICRD command successfully ran. So if we have our instance CDG NST1 successfully installed in system so we gotta log out this user root so that we can say switch user and log in with the CTG and SG1 user okay so here are the two user one more user CTG and SG1 created 
So I'm giving it a password. It's giving me an authentication failure. So I log in again. No help again. This is because I forgot to give a password to this user while creating it. So in order to do that, we got to again log back in with the root user. And I'm, I'll use a password command here to give a password to this user. Passwords followed by the username. It will prompt me to give a new password to this user. And all authentication of tokens updated successfully. Now I can switch user here is also using su command followed by the username. I'll go to system preferences, sorry, log out root, and then I'll search user. Now I'll log, log in to the CTG Honesty One user with the password that I gave using the password command. Now it'll log me in to the system. Now, firstly, I'll just run the db2 profile to set the db2 profile environment variable for running out any db2 command for this user. So, in order to do that, I'm just going to go to home cdg nst1 sql lib directory and run the db2 profile. Now, as soon as I run it, the db2 commands can be run by this user. As you can see. So I'm just trying to show you if you can create a database, sample database. So no start database command manager was issued, so we gotta just start the database using db2 start command. It takes some time, so again we're gonna skip out the matter. Right. So db2 start is completed successfully. Now before doing anything, we We'll just follow a few steps which are which are quite necessary. We'll update the DBM configurations. Because we gotta provide a service name which will be used by this database. Using the same command which is port, the instance port to foot. The command magic command successfully and in order to Take back all take all the changes to the system. We gotta just stop the database, and meanwhile it's stopped. We'll run one db2 set command to set the db2 set parameter. db2com is equal to tcpip. And that's it. We just just have to start the database again and follow with the normal procedure of, on on that instance. So these are the basic steps to instance to create a manual instance on a database so then we can we can we can post any command we can post to create a database or do anything on the system so this is it this is how it's done thank you so much for watching so don't forget to like and subscribe